Guys, I'm back with another insect video. I know I've been making a bunch of videos tonight, but I forgot about my white line sphinx moth caterpillar. Roxanne Puma. Shh. <laughs> They'd be in pains. Anyway, this one's kind of cool because normally they'll have a more of a red, and this one's more kind of orange, so it's kind of neat looking. And the difference is, normally they eat on butterfly bush leaves. Hold on a second. Would you two be quiet? <sighs> Sorry. Um, anyway, this one's eating on parsley is what it's called. It's, I don't know, most of you gardener people, if there's anyone watching that has a garden, would probably know what it is, but it's a, oh my gosh, it's a succulent that is a, I guess you would say an invasive weed, because once it takes hold, the thing takes over. Where I work, it's awful. Like our fourth greenhouse that we have, well, no, the third, the third greenhouse we have, um, at the place where I work, is just full of parsley. It's it's extremely invasive. So when I go to work tomorrow, I'm gonna get it some more parsley because I just brought home the paint, the plant that I found it on. This stuff over here is some parsley. Um, but anyway, there is a parsley that you can get that's not a weed that was bred to actually be an attractive flower. But the weed ones will have like little tiny white or yellow flowers that are really small. The uh, kind that are bred to be attractive for gardens can it be anywhere from a really big white flower, yellow, a coral color, red, pink, so yeah. You would be able to tell the difference. Anyway, I'm rambling. So, thanks for checking out my video of my white line sphinx moth caterpillar. He's really cool, and I'll show some videos when he gets bigger, just for anybody who would be interested. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.